Hello there, it's Stieg Plantel. We are going to work on a controller that is both FK and IK for the left arm. It's very powerful because it allows, with when the geometry is bound to this skeleton, it allows you to go in IK mode and FK mode at the same time. Don't, word of advice, don't control Z or undo just go back and reset everything with zeros. This is going to be in full. Hold on. This is tricky. This is tricky stuff. I have to say, that should all reset it back. Very, very cool. This FK handle. I'm sorry. This IK handle. is has a constraint on it. This would just be this IK handle, the actual IK tool being used is constrained via parent to this. Let's look at this. It has a hold on let me think here. That's correct. There's the parent constraint right there. The IK handle, the actual tool used for that is parent constrained to this. Okay. Now this this IK this FK handle is parent constrained. The the bone here is parent constrained to this. So you go to the bone, the joint and you can see here it's a parent constraint on the left it's called right elbow I just have it mislabeled look at that right it should be all left and this should be all oh that's what Alright, I had not labeled them after I mirrored them over from this side. So, this is all still remains true. It's still the left side, or intends to be the left side, just labeled now to follow that setup. So, this FK handle is moving the arm in a forward kinematics way. The IK handle is also controlling it via an IK inverse kinematics way. I'm splitting the IK FK switch. If I just went to one, which would be full IK mode, then this wouldn't work. Right? But when I go into make this zero, the FK is working just as you would hope it would be. So let's zero this out. I think it would be fun to go and do zero it out. You have to toggle it around a little bit. Make sure it's in IK mode. Toggle it around so the FK controller reorients itself. Other than that, that's a that's what we're gonna do. So let's do that on the other side here. Looks like we already have an IK handle. That's as simple as going create IK handle from the channel box underneath skeleton rotate plane solver click from not the shrug joint but the shoulder joint this can be the ball joint that goes to the hand now we have IK functionality it would be wise to name name that right now and call it right arm IK handle because that's exactly what it is that's the IK handle I'm gonna make some controllers some control curves by going in the front view Hide the skeleton for now and the teeth and the eyes and all that let's make a create ner let's go yeah let's go create nerves circle I can drag it here 
All right, let's just crush it down so it's similar to this one over here. And we're going to go into the attribute editor, control A, go into its. Well, let's first delete its history because right now it has this make nerve circle history on it. So edit delete by history and name it. We're going to call it to be the right IK controller or oh, arm controller. Modify freeze transformations. Freeze transformations. So that's ready to go. Turn on the skeleton. We're going to, right now, make a double. We're going to make an offset system for it. So with the name right IK arm control copied, we're going to group that controller. Not yet. Get ahead of myself. This is so cool and it works. We're going to we're going to uh, child it to this wrist by going edit. We're going to open the dialog box for parent. We're going to turn off preserve position because it should snap. It should snap to the wrist when we do this. And it didn't do it because, let's find out, where's the orientation of this thing? Where's our grid? Where's the center of our universe? That's why it had this offset. So we're going to go, hold down, we're going to hit W, hold down X, snap it to the middle of the Maya universe, the Cartesian theater, as some say. Here's transformations. Now, when we parent it and the preserved position's off, it snaps right to it. Here we find it in the outliner. What we're going to do is right now copy that name and we're going to group it right now as it's in the hierarchy. And we're going to update for a unique name and call it offset group. This is what I'll do, offset group. Now, while you're here is where you can orient and position it. So it looks like it would be a controller that would work with the wrist and the arm and make sense. A little small, we can just scale it up a little bit, trying to make it look, it doesn't have to be exactly like the other one, but I should have made all these controls to begin with, but this is going to be fine. Now, you want all this change data, so let's modify freeze transformation Okay, so everything's clear. Everything's clear. As soon as you drag this out, I'm gonna split the split the outliner. As soon as you drag this out of the hierarchy, check that out. This is a good thing. All this offset transitional uh, transform, rotate, and translate data is on the group. Now we're going to copy this name. We're going to group this group. Focus, where is it? Pen that name and call this master group. Master group. This might want to be, let's see if you free center pivot. It did snap out there. Good. The center, the pivot, the center of the offset group is there with all of the offset data and you want your curve to have nothing there no transforms or anything so you can always set it back to zero when you need it very very good now we are going to we're going to constrain the IK handle and the curve so what order do we do we want the constraint to be on the curve. So if we want to do that, we're going to go IK handle and go to the P 
parent. That's going to make that the parent. I want this to be constrained to this other way around. So you want to make the you want to select the curve and put the constraint on the IK handle. That's where we do a parent constraint. Edit reset for best practice. Apply. Now this controller should move the IK handle easily as you'd expect when you're animating a character. It the controls talk to the rig and move it in a predictable way. Hopefully. Now we're going to put an I, IKFK switch on it. I'm going to do that in a different video. So here we go. This is what we have right now is an IK handle set up for our Slimer rig.